follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, yeah. What's good? Welcome to the channel, YouTube, yeah, ladies and nerdettes. This is your boy, Top Dot. Usually I do my, like, witty thoughts a uh, different way, but today I have to do one special because this is the last review of Dragon Ball Super for a while, and the episode went in, y'all. Um, a few highlights. I love the Freezer and Goku team up, and I also like that they halfway almost became friends, bro. Like, literally, they almost became friends. Um, two, I like that 17 actually won the tournament because he was actually the MVP, and yeah, that was that was super. Um, number three, like when Jerem like got that little extra power and he was finna go ham, that was that was nice too. That was nice. So I thought he was. I was like, oh, here we go again. This man finna get another power up. We finna watch him destroy somebody and they finna win by like a hair. No, no. He powered up. All three of them teamed up. Boom. Goku was like 17. You go sit in the background. Yo, let me and Freezer do this. They ran up on him. Gave him the business. Love that part about it. The simple fact that Xeno was finna erase everybody if they had a messed up wish. That too, that was, that threw me off. That was cool. I like that. Um, let me see. There were so many. Um, with Beerus giving Whis the order to resurrect Frieza. And spoiler, I did not know Whis could do that. I didn't know he could do that. <laughs> so now that I know he could do that, that right there opens up a whole nother world because you know that's going to be something in the next series. All right. Um, Speaking on the next series, if y'all didn't catch it, when Xeno asked Goku what was next and Beerus rushed down there to, to tell him to shut up, I don't know what Goku was finna say, but Beerus knew what he was finna say. And whatever he was finna say, he was finna give away a big secret about the next episode. I mean, next part. So, that too in itself was nice. Um, speaking on the episode again, he, when he said that Xeno was like, what you doing to do next? When he gave him Dap, and he was like, Goku, what you gonna do next? What you gonna do next? Or, what's next or something like that? And, no, will we see you again? And he said, yeah. And he said, you promise? He said, I promise I'll see you again. That right there, solidified it will be another series if y'all don't believe me watch when everybody else come up with their reviews they also gonna tell you the same thing all the real ones will they gonna tell you at the very end when they said when goku told xeno and them we'll see you i'll see you uh, later i promise and a couple of more um little tidbits kava um universe uh, 11 because uh goku and jerry will be fighting again and i think this time Goku will fully master Ultra Instinct and Jiren might get him a little side power or two. But straight up, that that whole episode in the nutshell was boss. I can't lie, man. I can't lie. I was satisfied with the ending when 17 got his wish and brought everybody back. We already knew that. We just didn't know who was going to do it. If Freezer would have won, he wasn't going to bring nobody back. Everybody was going to get erased. And everybody knew that. He was ready to go back to hell. He was like, man, let me go back to hell to y'all collect these Dragon Balls. Bring me back, big baby. But, um, also, like, when they left, boom. I want to I wanna say that to you. If y'all seen at the end, boo, fat, funky booty ass was sitting up there eating. And he was the reason that they almost lost the tournament because he was, it was one short. But you know what? Boo might have got his ass served in that tournament. He might have got served by one of the the lower tier characters. If, no, no, not even, no, let me not disrespect like that. Boo probably would have got whooped by Jaren. He most definitely would have got whooped by Jaren. Topo, Dispo, all of them would have ate my boy Boo alive. But he probably would have lost to like Rebrian. Yeah, I said it. He probably would have lost to Rebrian because Rebrian was strong as fuck. She was fighting Super Saiyan guy Goku, so 
Yeah, bro. She was tough. And she grew to like the size of 10,000 mountains. So, yeah, it was on. Um, but all in all, like I said, y'all, I'm right back. My bad, y'all. Phone thing went off for a second, but I'm back on. Like I was saying, Rebrian uh, probably would have got my boy for. But minus all of that, y'all. The episode that tonight's episode was wonderful. I can't wait till it come back. Uh, I was satisfied with the ending. Uh, I want to know what y'all think about the ending. I want to know what y'all thought. Was y'all um, predictions? What was y'all most favorite part? And the whole thing. I want to know the whole tidbit. So y'all go ahead, drop some things below. You know, comments. You already know how I go. Hit the like button. If y'all ain't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. You know, do all of that. Hit the notification button because uh, YouTube has changed some things. So I'm going to need y'all to hit that notification button uh, if y'all want to see most of the videos that I'm doing. Um, and until Dragon Ball come back, bro, I'm going to be doing reviews and stuff on other animes and all of that. So y'all can still highlight at your boy. I'm going to still be doing like old school, you know, Dragon Ball reviews and things like that. Y'all may not see that many on my channel yet. That's because, you know, everybody else running the lane, but I'm building up my, my clientele. So I'll be back on the market with the product. And that'll be all for tonight. My YouTubians, nerdies and nerdettes, this is your boy Top Dot. Y'all be good. Holla at your boy. Thank you.